So this is, will be our uh, course. Our objectives this evening are, one, we need to define science, technology, and of course, we need to define the society. And then, the second objective is to explain the relationships between science and technology, and then science and society and then technology and society but first we need to define what is science how can you define science in one word who would like to volunteer in your own word what is science any idea any word na pumasok sa isip nyo when you heard the word science any word experiment mr kota experiment uh, now good experiment what else state of knowing po. one word give me one word about science Knowledge. Knowledge. Systematic. System. Systematic. What else? Chemicals. Chemicals. Yes. What else? Physics. Physics. Yes. So there are so the many. Research. Theory. Uh, theories. Oh, tama. Theories. Maricon. Research. Po. Research. Correct. So those are uh, words that came into your mind when we heard the word science. Inexpect ko kasi difficult. Yung mga inexpect kong sagot pag sinasabi natin na science. Eh. But anyways, discuss. The, the word science, okay? Now, again, it is from Latin. It's a Latin word meaning scientia. When you say scientia, we are pertaining about knowledge, okay? Scientia, knowledge. So science is knowledge, okay? Now, another definition of science, again, is a systematic knowledge or a practice. When you say systematic knowledge, meaning you have a what? Organized. Organized, correct. When you, when you are organized, you are following Procedure. What? Procedure, exactly, okay? So, when you say science, you have a procedure to follow, okay? Hindi yan basta-basta pumupunta ka na lang sa, sa dulo na hindi ka dumadaan sa umpisa, okay? The same in a ladder, hindi ka na makakapunta sa dulo, sa tuktok, hanggat hindi ka nag-umpisa sa baba. Yun ang science, okay? Meron daw systematic knowledge or practice. Another definition of science, it is a what? Sabi niya, acquiring knowledge based on a scientific or scientific method. Ano ba yung scientific method na sinasabi natin? Can you give an example of a scientific method? Honey grace, ilaw. Can you please unmute and then show your face? What can you say about a scientific method? Honey grace, ilaw. Sir, wait lang po. Oh, wait lang daw. Sige. Huwag kayong magsisearch sa Google ha, kung ano yung una nyo maisip. Systematic. Scientific pala. Scientific method. Huwag kayong magsisearch. Ano ba naisip nyo? Yun lang tayo. Nagre-recall pa lang naman tayo. We are on definition pa lang tayo. Steps po ba? Steps po. Anything about scientific methods? Steps? Possible? What else? Okay. Miss Abigail Casal, unmute. What is a scientific method? What comes into your Apply mind? Applying ano po? Different methods po. Applying different methods? Yeah, possible. Okay, now when we say scientific methods, we need to follow a procedure. Paano ba yan? Okay? So ito yung itsura niyan. Yan. Again, Let's say you are conducting a scientific method, everything comes palagi sa inyo imagination. Why? You are not going to conduct any research if you do not have any problems, di ba? Kung wala ka namang problema, bakit ka magkakonduct ng research? One example is that, how many are you now? 40 in BSA? How many are you? 32 po. 32. 32 po. So, naka-present sa atin is 29. Now, 32. At the end of the semester, mababawasan yan. Magiging 29 na lang yan, or 28. Pag tungtong ng second year, mababawasan ulit si 28. Ano kaya nagiging problema? Bakit nababawasan? That is the question. Okay? What are the factors? Bakit nababawasan na ang BSA students natin? From 32, pag-graduate siya, mga walo, siyam na lang. Ano kaya ang dahilan? That is the question. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, it emanates from your imagination. Nag-start yan palagi sa utak natin. Hindi naman problema ko ang sasagutin nyo eh. Ang sasagutin nyo is yung problema nyo. Okay? Now, after formulating a question in your mind, you need to do a background research. Ano kaya ang dahilan? Bakit nababawasan ang sudyante ng BSA pagdating ng graduation? Less than a half na lang dumag-graduate. Ano kaya ang dahilan? Now, paano ako magkakandak ng background research? Using a what? Maraming procedure, di ba? Tama. Sige, discuss natin. Now, <clears throat> after conducting a research, a background research, mag interview ka, you need to construct a hypothesis. Ano ba yung hypothesis na sinasabi natin? Any idea? What is a hypothesis? Danica. Miss Danica, unmute. Ayun, si Danica. Yes, na. Oh, sige, Aldrich. Hello, Sino yun, Hello. Danica? Uh, sorry, wait po. 
Ah, sino? Oh, sige. What is a hypothesis? Na sir, ay, narinig yes. po ba, sir? What is a hypothesis? Huwag niyong search kay Google, ha? Pag-aralan muna natin. Hindi naman po... Okay, ano. hindi. O, ano si hypothesis? Ano ba si hypothesis? Ano yung pagkakaalala nyo kay hypothesis? Pag naririnig nyo siya, hypothesis. Ano po, sir? Parang sila po yung nag -ano po, conduct po ng research. Tapos, din po malalaman yung mga evidence po. Para sa... Apo. What else? Ano yung hypothesis? Hypothesis, singular ang hypothesis. Ang plural niyan ay hypothesis. Okay? Hypothesis. No, ano ulit yung hypothesis? Hypothesis. Hypothesis, plural. Hypothesis, singular. Ano ulit? Hypothesis. Po, parang invest, para pong investigation po para dun sa ginawa niyo pong research or apo. Yes. Yes, correct. Pwede na din. Pwede. Hypothesis daw is just an investigation on your research. What else? Assumption po. Assumption. About Possible. it. It is an assumption. Okay? It is an assumption. So meaning, if it is an assumption, it is a wild guess. Diba? It is a guess. Diba? When we were in elementary, ang sabi niya, hypothesis is a wild guess. Tama ba? Pinalitan. Sabi, hindi naman daw siya wild guess. It is an educated guess. Kasi nga, we are in science. So, it should be educated guess. But again, it should not be more on guessing. Again, hypothesis is not on guessing. Hypothesis should be based on facts. So again, hypothesis is not on guessing. It should be based on facts. Now, if you already have your hypothesis, you need to test with an experiment. Now, there are so many ways to test the hypothesis. One lang is yung experiment. You are going to conduct an experiment. Tama? Nagkakonduct tayo ng high school, ano? Diba? Ng experiment sa laboratory natin. Example, sino daw ba yung pinakamagandang pantanggal ng kalawang? Soda, vinegar, water, or alcohol? That is an experiment. Diba? O sino daw sa apat ang pinakamagandang pantanggal ng alcohol? Is it the soda, the alcohol, the vinegar, or the water? What do you think? Vinegar. It's the vinegar. What else? Ano pa ibang guess nyo? Vinegar ba? Soda po. Soda ba? Soda Sir. po. O baka water? Soda po. Soda. Now, according to the experiment, soda daw ang pinakamagandang pantanggal ng kalawang, ng rust. Okay? That is through experiment. Now, that is only by conducting an experiment. Eh, ang dami-daming ways to test the hypothesis. Ano pa iba? Observation. Observation. Correct. What else? Survey. Survey, survey correct. Survey. By survey. So, marami. Pwede ka mag-conduct through experiments. Pwede ka mag-survey. Pwede ka rin mag-interview. Di ba? Pwede ka mag-observe. Possible yan. So, hindi lang siya by experiment. Okay? Now, after testing with experiment, you need to check whether the procedures are working or not. Okay? If the procedures are not working, sabi niya, it's a no. You need to troubleshoot the procedure, then carefully check and steps all the steps and set up. So you need to go back to testing with an experiment. Babalik ka. Now, if the procedures are working properly, so you need to have to analyze the data. Now, how are we going to analyze the data? Paano siya ina-analyze? Binigyan ka ng mga figures, binigyan ka ng mga numbers. Paano siya ina-analyze? Pag lumabas ba na ganyan, that's it? Hindi, di ba? Through what? Ano gagamitin natin? Any idea? Gamit tayo ng mga statistics. Statistics. Yun, correct. Statistics or statistical treatment. Yun ang gagamitin natin to analyze the data. And then, after analyzing the data, you can now have your conclusions. Pwede ka na nga ngayon mag-create ng conclusions. Okay? Now, saan ba, na, 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 paano nakikreate ang conclusion? Of course, based on your hypothesis. Okay? And then, you're going to check whether the results are aligned with hypothesis. Kapag hindi siya naka-align, pag hindi siya naka-align, babalik ka ulit doon sa umpisa. Construct a hypothesis. Kapag naka-align na siya, you need to communicate the results. What does it mean? Kasi ang nangyayari sa atin class, after conducting a research at nabigyan ka ng grade na 99, anong ginagawa natin? Pag may grade ka na, you just simply disregard. ba? Diba? Parang, hum, bahala ka na dyan, may grade na ako eh. Wala na akong pakailang. So, we need to communicate the results. Whatever the result is, kailangan kinocommunicate. Baka mamaya, effective pala yan, pwedeng gamitin ng iba. Okay? So, we need to communicate. That's the definition. Another one. Sabi niya, organized body of knowledge gained through 
research. So, yun, sabi natin kanina. What else? Another definition, it is human attempt to understand the natural world with or without a concern for practical uses of that knowledge. We always try to understand everything, class. Ano ba yung natural world na sinasabi natin? Do you have any idea what the natural world is? Again, pakilakasan. Universe, possible. What else? Pwede ka daw... Volcanoes. Plants and animals. Gravity, atoms, plants and animals. Those are natural worlds. So pinapakilaman natin, we are always try to understand the natural world. Kahit wala siyang pakailam sa atin, pinapakailaman pa rin natin. A very good example is that Anong value ulit ng gravity? Palimutan ko eh. Anong value ng gravity natin? 3.14 po. Ah, pa yun. What is the va approximate value of the gravity? 9.8 meter per second. Correct. Po. That is the approximate value. It's 9.81 meters per second square. Eh, bakit natin pinapakailaman si gravity? Is there any concern for the practical use of that knowledge? Meron ba? May pinap meron bang pinaggagamitan sa buhay natin? Pag bumili ka ba ng... Sa palengke, kailangan mo pang alamin si gravity? Hindi na. But still we are, okay, attempting to understand everything. Okay, yun daw si science, okay? What else? Now remember, science daw tries to discover facts and relationships and then tries to create theories that make sense of these facts and relationships. Now remember class, we have theories, we have principles, and we have laws. Are they synonymous to one another? Are they the same? The theories, the principles, and the laws? Hindi po. Hindi. Saan sila nagkakaiba-iba? Paano sila nagkakaiba-iba? Can somebody practical explain? E ah, sige. Practical evidences po. Ano doon ang practical evidences? Is it the theories, the Mga principles, empirical. and the laws? Pagdating po sa law, pagdating po sa laws, para yung iba po may basehan, Hmm. May empirical evidence yung iba po. Yung theories, wala. Um, yung principles din, wala. Ganun ba yun? Walang evidences, walang empirical evidences bang theories? Si principles, wala din. Ako, baka magalit sa'yo si Archimedes. Kapag sinabi mong walang basis yung kanyang Archimedes principle, magagalit sa'yo yan, mumultuhin ka niyan. Okay? So, ano kayong pagkakaiba? Anybody from the group? Wala. Pare-pares ba sila? <laughs> Okay, may yung sumagot. Titignan lang natin kung ano yung mga ideas nyo. Anong pagkakaiba ni principles, ni theories, and ni laws? O oh, sige, ganito na lang. Ano ang natatandaan yung theories? Kung nag-aaral kayo, ano yung kilala nyong theories? O, oh, don't told me, wala kayo na-encounter, na wala kayo nakasalubong ha, nung high school or elementary na theories. Naku, magagalit ang mga teacher that, niya. Ha? Big Bang Theory po. Sir. Correct. Big Bang That is the most common, Big Bang Theory. Ano ba ang sinasabi ni Big Bang Theory? Nakalimutan ko na eh. Pwede bang ipalala niyo sa akin kung ibig sabihin ng Big Bang Theory? Na yung universe daw po, sir, nagmula daw po siya sa, um, parang tiny singularity po na parang nag, parang sumabog na lang po siya bigla. Tapos mula doon po, um, doon po nag-form kung ano po yung meron sa universe po natin ngayon. Hmm. Yun ba yun? So, dagdagan lang natin ng konti, ha? So, kasi nag nagsimula na daw ang, ang universe from the collision of two big rocks. ba? Diba? Kaya nga big bang, eh. Nagkaroon daw ng collision of two big rocks. And then, yung mga fragments daw from that collision, nagdikit-dikit until such time, naging planets, naging stars. May basis ba? Theory? May basis kaya? O, ano pang alam yung theory? Bakod sa big bang? Jonathan, payo mo. May naisip ka bang theory? O, ano pa mga theory ang alam mo? Anything. Sige. Kung ano naisip mo? O, sige. Ibayin natin yung tanong. Andiyan pa ba si Mr. Jonathan? Andito pa po, sir. Wala pa akong maisip. Sir. Wala ka maisip. O, sige. Saan ka daw galing? Saan ka daw nang galing? Sabi ni Charles Darwin. Sa monkey daw po. Sa monkey ba? Papakay ka ba? Galing ka sa unggoy? Hindi po ako sure, sir. Hindi <laughs> ka sure. Galing ka tayo sa apes, di ba? According to Charles Darwin, galing daw tayo sa apes. Until such time, nakakalakad tayo na wala na yung mga balahibo natin, na wala na rin yung buntot natin. Anong theory ulit yan, class? Of evolution. Correct. Evolution. The theory of evolution by Charles Darwin. O, yun yung mga theories na alam natin. Basic yun, di ba? Na pag sinabi kasing theories, theories daw can give a quantitative testable prediction. So, meaning, theories are just predictions. Quantitative meaning, meron sila na ibibigay na numbers. Kasi nga quantity, quantifying. Diba? Kaya daw niya magbigay ng numbers. 
yun ang theory sa sinasabi natin. Again, theories are just uh, quantitative predictions. Okay? E ano naman yung principles? Wala kayo, kasasabi ko lang kanina. Paano lumulutang ang barko? Ano ginagamit nilang principle doon? O, saan daw mas mahirap lumangoy? Sa swimming pool o sa dagat? Dagat po. Sa dagat ba? Mas mahirap ang lumangoy sa dagat? Po. po. Kasi maalat. Kasi po, wala po siyang malalim po. Ah, malalim. Eh, paano kapag 16 feet din yung swimming pool? O, oh, edi mahirap din lumangoy. Ganun ba yan? O, oh, saan daw mas mahirap? Kung saan daw... Sa Maraming? Maraming creatures na din nakikita sa sea. <laughs> Maraming creatures na din nakikita sa sea. Okay. Ang tanong dyan, saan daw mas madaling lumutang na lang? Sa dagat o sa swimming pool? Depende po kung marunong mag-floating. <laughs> Depende ba kung marunong mag-floating? Sa <laughs> dagat po. Mas madali, mag- <laughs> mas madali daw lumutang, mas madali lumangoy sa dagat. Okay? Bakit daw mas madali sa dagat kaysa sa swimming pool? Kasi magkaiba sila ng density, di ba? May salt po yung water. <laughs> Oo, correct. Kasi nga, may ano yan, yung dagat kasi is denser than the fresh water. Iyon ay pinag-aralan ni, no? Pinag-aralan niya ni Charles Darwin. Ay, ni Charles Darwin, sorry. Pinag-aralan niya ni Archimedes. Ano yung theory niya na yun? Archimedes, ay, theory, sorry. Archimedes principle. Or mas kilala natin saan? Sa buoyant force. Principle yun. Okay? Now, kapag principle kasi, it's more of generic na yan. General statement na yan. Okay? Eh, ano naman yung loss? So, anong pagkakaiba ni law, ni principle, at saka ni theory? Sabi natin kanina, hindi sila pare-parehas. Ano naman yung law? Siguro naman, sa loss, marami na kayong alam. Marami kinatatandaan. O ano yung mga loss na alam natin? Ano yung mga loss na alam natin? Law of gravity po. Law of gravity? Meron ba nun? Yung law. Newton, law of law. inertia po. Ayun. Accelerating. Newton's laws, di ba? Newton's laws yun. Ilan ang Newton's laws na alam natin? Tatlo po. Tatlo. Tatlo lang ba ang Newton's laws? Sure? Tatlo lang? O ano isa? Ano yung pinakauna natin? The law of? Law of law. inertia. Law of inertia po. Inertia, correct. Okay. O, yung, ano yung second law natin? Law of acceleration. Law of acceleration. acceleration. Correct. Acceleration. Law of acceleration. Correct. Ano yung third law natin? Third law. Law of interaction po. Law of interaction. Anong sinasabi ni third law ulit? Nakalimutan ko na eh. Anong sinasabi niya? Si third law? For every action, there is an equal and opposite, re- opposite, re- opposite re- reaction. Correct. So, ibig sabihin, <laughs> ibig sabihin, di ba? Kaya ka nga kaya ka nga nakakatayo sa ground kasi yung weight mo equal doon sa upward force na nilalabas ng ng sahig. Third law 'yun, di ba? 'Yun 'yun. Eh loss 'yun. Eh bakit may loss? May principle, may theories. Hindi sila pare-parehas class. Okay? Again, hindi sila pare-parehas. Now, kung theory ka, theory ka na lang. Kung principle ka, principle ka. Kung law ka, law ka. Okay, ganun 'yun. Hindi ka pwedeng pabalik-balik. Hindi ka pwedeng Naka-look ah, babalik ka sa theory, babalik ka sa principle. Walang ganun. Okay? Clear tayo? Hindi sila pare-parehas. Ayas, class? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now, we are done with science. We define science. Okay, now, let's define technology. Paano natin dinidefine si technology? It's technology. Diba? Biology. Ganun. So, paano dinidefine sa technology? Let's say biology. Bio means bio. Life po. Life. Life. Life po. Logi or logos means? Study po. Study. So, meaning biology is the study of life. E ano naman si technology? An idea. Technology. So, again, two words din yan, di ba? Pag sinabi natin technology, came from two words. It's techne and logos. Okay? Two Greek words. It's techne meaning skills. Craftsmanships or arts. And then logos is a discourse or it is a study of. Therefore, technology is the study of skills, a study of craftsmanship, okay? Or a discourse of skills, a reason for skills. Techne and logos. It's technology, okay? Are we clear? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Another definition so, of technology, it is the human attempt to change the world. Do you agree? Technology daw attempts to change the world. Tama ba ang statement? Yes. Yes, yes po. Yes, yes po. po. 
Yes. Paano? Mr. Jermay. Ah, babae ba ito lalaki? Jermay. In what way? Sa camera. ano po? Ah, babae. Sorry. Camera, camera. Yan. O, di ba? Sa... Eh. sa paraan po na padaliin yung mga gawain sa buhay po. Pinapadali ang gawain sa buhay? Opo. So, meaning Sorry. nagiging comfortable life. Tama ba? Opo. Opo. Okay. Sige. What else? Majid. Thank you, Ms. Jermay. Majid, unmute. Camera. In what way that the that the technology attempts to change the world? It is the parang human attempt. Parang in-upgrade po yung mga gi- gi- ginagamit ng mga tao po. Upgrading of technology or upgrading of what? Parang ano din, ano? Parang more comfortable life. Parang ganun. Tama ba? Opo. Okay. It is the human attempt to change the world. Correct. Technology daw, it, binabago niya talaga yung buhay natin. Okay? In what way? Dati hindi naman tayo nagaganito. Wala naman tayong online class. But then because of the pandemic, so we need to adjust. Kailangan natin mag-online class. Diba? Binabago niya. So yung dating ginagawa natin na classroom, nabago na. Ginawa na natin online. Okay? What else? Sabi niya, as a human activity, technology is on the same level as art, politics, and economics. Bakit kaya kinonsider siya as the same level as arts? politics, and economics. Any idea? Bakit daw siya kinumpara sa arts? Miss Joyce, ayun, natawa ko na ito kanina, no? Rian. Miss Rian. Do you have any idea? Unmute camera, Miss Rian. Sir, um, by the use of machineries po, gumagamit po ng art doon. Gumagamit ng arts? Possible. What else? Elaborate natin ng konti. Paano kaya nakumpara ang technology sa arts? Sabi niya, gumagamit daw ng arts for every technology. Yes, pwede. What else? Nicole, Miss Nicole, camera, unmute. Para makita ka namin. Nicole. Uh, ano po yan? Yung through, ano po, technology, uh, mas, 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 ma, uh, ano po yung understanding ng, ano po, uh, mas convenient po yung... Uh, sige, sige lang. Wait. Tuloy ka lang. Mas magiging clear po and understandable po yung patro. Mas madali daw, mas madaling intindihin daw at understandable yung technology the same as art. Correct. Parang ganito yan. Sino sa inyo ang mahilig sa arts? Mahilig sa mga paintings? Wala. Wala sa inyo mahilig sa arts? Mahilig sa paintings? Mahilig sa mga abstract? Si Charis ay ala po. Si Charis. O oh, diba? Ganito yan. Di ba pag pumunta ka ng museum, yung mga mahilig sa arts, Kapag nakakita ng abstract, di ba? Halos maingayak-ngayak sila. Bakit? Kasi na-appreciate nila si art. Pero tayong hindi natin na-appreciate, anong tingin natin sa abstract painting? Basura, di ba? Ang gulo-gulo, wala malang kahit anong design. Hindi natin siya na-appreciate. Why? Kasi hindi natin gusto si arts. Hindi tayo inclined kay arts. Ganon din sa technology. Sino sa inyo ang mahilig mag-ML? Wala? Ako pa. Opo. Si Aljon. Sir, si Joyce Eden po. Hindi <laughs> kayo ng pangalan eh. Si Aljon daw, mahilig ma... So again, uh, technology is compared to arts in such a way that there are people who cannot appreciate arts, di ba? But there are also people who are or who can appreciate arts, okay? The same in technology, there are people who are fun of making technology or using technology but there are also people who are not okay inclined to technology let's say for example si Mr. Branzuela mahilig yang mag Dota mahilig yang mag ML di ba ginagamit niya ang cellphone niya for ML subukan mo kayang ibigay Mr. what's your full name Mr. Branzuela si Lola mo ba mahilig mag ML hindi pa hindi subukan mo kayang magpag ML si Lola mo na po kaya matanda na hindi na bakit kaya kasi hindi niya na ma-appreciate si ML hindi niya na rin ma-appreciate yes, cellphone di ba yun yun ang ibig sabihin yun there are people na hindi na talaga na-appreciate yung technology thank you okay now the same in politics paano kinumpara si technology to politics ano bang napapansin niyo sa politics natin Jeremy Camera, unmute. Ano Ayan. po sir, medyo magulo po sa panahon ngayon. Magulo? Bakit magulo? In what way siya naging magulo? Kung di sila magkasundo-sundo sa 
pag pagawa ng batas. Pagawa ng batas. Eh paano siya kinumpara sa pa, sa technology? 'Di ba sabi niya same level? Oh sige. Para pong sa human po para bang yung technology po kung ikukumpara sa politics, minsan po magulo rin po siya. <laughs> minsan magulo. I-handle. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pwede naman, tama. Tama 'yun. Minsan yung mga technology mahirap gamitin. Parang gano'n, 'di ba? Mahirap i-handle, mahirap okay. i-manage. This is in politics. Possible, 'di ba? Tama naman. Kasi in politics, napakahirap daw i-handle. Mahirap siyang uh, gamitin. Parang ganun. What else? Cassandra, unmute, camera. No, uh, paano siya nakakumpara sa... Ano po, technology, parang yung... True technology po, para pong yung mga opinion and insight po ng mga tao na share po nila sa iba. Hmm, possible. Because of the technology, lahat nung insights, pwede nating i-share sa ibang tao. Possible din. Kasi in politics, di ba? Kasi mga politician, sinishare nila sa atin yung mga ginagawa nilang batas, whatsoever. The same, di ba? Tama. What else? Ano pa kaya? Bakit kaya siya kinumpara sa politics? Uh, Harmin, unmute and then camera. Harmin. Ayun. Dealing with technology and politics po, oh. kailangan po ng effort para matapos po yung isang task. Kailangan ng effort para makatapos na isang task. Hmm. Pwede din, di ba? Politics, di ba? Kailangan ng group effort nila para makapagpasa ng isang batas. Tama naman lahat ng sinabi. Okay? Walang problema doon. But also, pwede natin consider, ang politics natin ngayon, every now and then, nagpapalit. Tama? Nagpapalit. Mabilis magpalit. Every six years, palit. Every three years, palit. The same in technology. Mabilis magpalit ang technology. Tama? Nakita mo, pag pinatulan mo si cellphone, ngayon, masa 56,000. After a year, yung 56,000 mo, Pababa na value. Why? Kasi nag upgrade sila. Nagpapalit sila. Ganun kabilis si technology. Okay? Sa economics. Paano kinumpara sa technology sa economics? Siyempre, habang gumaganda ang technology mo, gumaganda rin ang iyong economy. A very good example of this one is Japan. Diba? Napakaliit na bansa ng Japan. Pero bakit napakaganda na kanyang ekonomiya? Because they invested in technology. Bata pa lang inexpose na sa technology. Tayo kailan tayo nakahawak ng laptop? College na. Or senior high school. Pero in Japan, elementary years pa lang nila inexpose na sila sa technology. That's why they have a very good economy. Taiwan, 'di ba? Napakalit na bansa ng Taiwan. But still ang ganda ng ekonomiya nila because they invested again in technology. Kaya sila kinukumpara kay technology. Okay? Now, So these are examples of technology. So meron tayong even a simple paper is considered as technology. Okay? Car, tablet, cellphone, scissors, okay? Sabi niya dito what went out and what came in. Before meron tayong ganyan, floppy disk. Okay? Kaya lang nawala. Bakit nawala si floppy disk? Kasi ito ay 1.5 MB lang yata to, di ba? 1.5 MB. Eh malaki pa yung picture natin. Hindi siya kakasya. So isang picture lang hindi kasya si sa floppy disk. Okay? Anong pinalit niya ng floppy disk? Pinalitan na flash drive. Okay? So before, kapag meron kang 16 gig na flash drive, mayabang ka na, di ba? Kasi medyo mahal. Pero ngayon, may lumabas na na 1 terabyte, di ba? Na flash drive. Eh, mapagpatul ka kay technology. Bumili ka ulit. 5,000, 1 tera. After a year, yung 1 tera niyan, wala ng 5,000 yan. Bababa na, yung bababa na yung price value niyan. Okay? What else? Si beeper. Nawala si beeper, pinalitan ng cellphone. Kasi at an instant, pwede kang tawagan, pwede kang makonek. Okay? Unlike si beeper, hahanap ka pa ng operator para ka makakonek. Okay? What else? Snail mail, sulat. ba diba? Sa post office. Hindi naman siya nawala. Kaya lang, nawawalan siya ng value. Why? Kasi napakatagal bago dumating sa tao. Unlike yung ito, electronic mail, at an instant, pwede niya mabasa. Basta may wifi ka lang, at pwedeng gamitin ang cellphone mo, mababasa mo email mo. Okay? So, si email ang gumagana ngayon. What else? May VR na tayo. Okay? Technology yan. Yan, si siyempre, si cellphone, komo na. What else? Now, remember, sabi niya, technology involves three things. You have the tools, techniques, and procedures. Okay? Kailangan daw present yung tatlo na yan. For example, meron kang tita galing na sa Taiwan. Pinadala ka ng rice cooker. Tuwantuwa ka kasi may rice cooker ka na. First time mo magkaroon ng rice cooker sa bahay. Kaya alam, nung binasa mo si manual, maka-Chinese. Hindi mo siya magamit kasi hindi mo malaman kung paano gagamitin. So meaning, 
may toast ka, may rice cooker ka, wala kang, wala kang manual, yung procedure, di mo mabasa, useless. Hindi mo magagamit si technology. Okay? So, isabi, balikan natin. May rice cooker ka, naka-English yung kanyang manual, wala ka namang kuryente. Useless pa rin. So, dapat meron kang rice cooker, nababasa mo si manual, si procedure, at the same time, meron kang kuryente para magamit mo si rice cooker. Eh, sir, meron nga kaming rice cooker. Meron na, nababasa ko naman. May kuryente naman kami. Wala ka namang bigas. So, useless pa rin. Naintindihan niyo, ibig ko sabihin, na lang may cellphone sa inyo. Cellphone. Kami po. Kayong lahat, may cellphone. O, the same. Technology involves three things daw. Paano siya? May cellphone ka nga, wala ka namang load, useless. May cellphone ka, may load ka, wala ka namang kachat, useless pa rin. May cellphone ka, may load ka, may kachat ka, na deadbat ka naman, useless pa rin. So you cannot uh, utilize or maximize the technology. Kailangan laging present yung tatlo. Yun yung ibig sabihin niya. Technology involves the tools, the techniques, and procedures. O kaya naman, may cellphone ka nga, may load ka, may battery ka, may kachat ka, paasa naman, o useless pa rin. Di ba? Yun ang ibig sabihin yan. Naiintindihan. Malinaw tayo sa technology. Opo. Sino nakaka-relate? So, ibig sabihin, pag wala kang kachat, wala ka technology. Anong kachat mo palagi? GC. GC na lang madalas ang binabasa mo. Patay, kawawa ka. Okay? Yun yun. Now, ano ba ang relationship between science and technology? Bakit lagi silang magkadugtong? Lagi silang magkakabit? Lagi silang magkasama? For example, the Department of Science and Technology. Nung high school tayo, ang subject natin, science and technology. May relasyon ba yung dalawa? May connection ba silang dalawa? O, sinong gusto mag-explain? Doon sa relationship between science and technology. Ano ang relasyon ng dalawa na yan? Oh, anybody from the group, explain. Ano bang relasyon ng dalawa na yan? Bakit lagi silang magkadikit? And explain natin ang definition kanina ni science. And explain din si technology. E ano ay yung connection nilang dalawa? Bakit lagi silang magkasama? Ano po? Ah, Maria, Kasi sige. po, di ba, through science po, nagagather po tayo ng data. So, pag nagagather po tayo ng data, we can use the technology for us to gather more informations or data easier para po yung sa research po natin mas um, accurate po yung data na ma-provide natin sa research natin yes tama o oh, alrich idadagdag ka e para po para po magamit natin yung technology kailangan po natin ng science pas kung para uh, pagdating po sa purpose parang ayun uh, para makamit natin yung kailangan natin sa science, pumisa ginagamit natin ang technology. So, meron po siyang mga uses or origin po. Uh, ginagamit, ginagamit po natin ang technology, gamit po yung science. Nagagawa po natin yung technology dahil po meron tayong science, meron po tayong mga knowledge na nakuha dito para magamit po yung technology. Tapos po, pa, pag gumagamit po tayo ng technology, kailangan po natin ng science, kailangan po ng knowledge natin doon. Ganun po. Uh, by the way, sino bang nauna? Si science mo si technology? Sino nauna sa dalawa? Science po. Science po. Science? science? Nauna ba si science kaysa kay technology? Science po. During the ancient period, sino mas nauna daw? Sino pinaniniwala ang mas nauna? Si science ba o si technology? Te te technology po. Technology na. Si technology na ba nauna? O si science talagang nauna? Parang ano yan? Sino nauna? Itlog o manok? So the same, sino nauna? Si science or si technology? Actually, during the ancient period daw, mas pinaniniwalaan na nauna si technology kesa kay science. Why? Kasi di ba yung mga, mga ninuno natin, marunong na sila maggumamit ng mga bato pang bukas ng nyog, pang bukas ng buko, parang ganyan. Kinoconsider, gumagamit tayo ng mga sharp edges para daw pang hunt ng mga animals. Kinoconsider as yun na sa technology. But then, hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung science behind that, di ba? So meaning, During the ancient time, mas pinaniniwalaan na mas nauna si technology kaysa kay science. But in the latter part, pinaniniwalaan na mas nauna na si science kaysa kay technology. Kasi daw, ang relasyon nilang dalawa, remember that si science daw explore, explores the purpose of knowing. That's it. Yun lang gusto ni science. Tinitignan niya lang palagi, ano ba yung purpose ng knowing? Unlike kay technology, siya yung nag implement Kung ano yung in-explore ni Mr. Science, i-implement naman ni Mr. Technology kung ano yung, ginag kung ano yung dapat gawin. Diba? 
si science gagawa yun ng mga principles ng laws, si technology ang mag-implement. Yun ang connection nilang dalawa. Malinaw? Yes po. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Also, sabi niya, yes, science drives technology by making new technology possible through scientific breakthrough. Okay? Parang sa sasakyan. Marunong ka mag-drive, wala ka namang sasakyan, wala ka namang kotse, hindi ka rin makakapunta sa paroroonan mo. May kotse ka nga, hindi ka rin naman marunong mag-drive, so useless pa rin. Eh may mga pilosopo, sir, pwede naman ako manghiram ng kotse para makapunta sa paparoonan ko. Correct. But then, remember, kapag nagbabaraw ka lang ng mga idea, there are always limitations. Okay? Hindi mo mamamaximize ang isang sasakyan kapag hindi sa'yo. Why? Kasi sasabihin sa'yo na may ari o oh, hanggang dito ka lang. Ito lang ang mileage mo, ito lang gasolina mo. Unlike kapag sa'yo ang kotse, ikaw nagdadrive, malayo ang mararating mo. So meaning class, para ma-maximize mo ang isang idea, dapat alam mo yung idea at alam mo rin siyang i-implement. Yun ang sinasabing the relationship between science and technology. Lagi silang magkatugtong. Lagi silang magkakonek. Okay? Oh, questions? Questions regarding our topic, what is science, what is technology. The next meeting, we define natin sa society and the relationship between science, technology to the society. Questions? Wala po, sir. Malinaw. Yeah. Uh, yes po. Okay, so this time, uh, maglalagay ako ng quiz sa Google Classroom and try to answer. Honestly, ha? Huwag kayo muna magtatanong sa classmates nyo at huwag kayo magtatanong kay Mr. Google. Tignan nyo lang kung hanggang saan nyo naintindihan yung topic natin today. Okay? Then next meeting, i-discuss natin yung assignment nyo. Ipopost ko siya today, then you have one week to comply, to answer. Okay? Huwag nyo tatanungin si Mr. Google at huwag nyo tatanungin si Ms. Yung inyong classmates. Tignan nyo kung hanggang saan nyo naintindihan yung topic. Lahat naman ang tanong doon nandun sa discussion natin. Malinaw? Ano? Yes, po, sir. Ano? Yes, po, sir. Yes, po. So, wala nang tanong. Nagkakaintindihan na tayo. Yes, po, sir. O, kung wala nang tanong, Opa. labas lahat ng camera. Labas lahat ng camera nyo, class. Labas, labas lahat ng camera. At mag-picture tayo. Hindi na. Pakisabihan nyo, mga classmates, na hindi naka-attend, i-view doon sa ipopost ko. Okay? Sige. Kung wala nang questions, ingat kayo dyan, class. Next meeting ulit. Bye-bye. Bye po. Sige, ingat. Thank you po, sir. Thank you po, sir. Thank you po, sir. Thank you po. Bye-bye.